so high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Say you. Your cappuccino is ready. Enjoy and have a good day.
we all the different people of my brand and my social lives. Please ask the store staff to help raise it. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into something exciting, the perfect cup of coffee made by AI Barista Box and the data science behind it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future content and let's get started. So now you know how Barista Bot can make your coffee just the way you like it, right? Ever wonder how they do it? Well, today we're cracking the code. Here we have Python codes that explores coffee temperatures and brewing times and even includes bona future name pronunciation. Firstly, we importing in uh, Python libraries, Candas, NumPy's, and Seaborn, and other libraries. These are like the toolkits for any data scientist. Next, that different coffees have different ideal brewing temperatures. Espresso, latte, cappuccino are usually brewed at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Americano is a little bit cooler at 198 degrees Fahrenheit. And mocha at 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, you don't want to burn that delicious chocolate, right? The data we have, the coffee types we have is espresso, latte, cappuccino, americano, mocha. And brewing time is in minutes. 1, 3, 2.5, 2, and 3.5 minutes. Temperature we have 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 198 degrees Fahrenheit, and 195 Fahrenheit. Then we put this into uh, a data frame. Think of this as a fancy Excel sheet, but it's in a code. So we put this into a file, into a data frame. We call it DF. Espresso, latte, cappuccinos 
our brew at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, Americano 198, Mocha 195. All right, here you have it right here. We got our temperature. Now you're probably wondering like how long should we actually brew these coffee for the perfect taste? Wow. We're going to do some calculations right here. These are the codes. To find out, we calculated the average uh, brewing times for all these coffee. The average brewing times right here in minutes. The, and the average brewing time calculation came out that it takes 2 minutes and 40 seconds to make a cup of coffee, the average, okay? And according to our research, a human barista makes, it takes them about 3 minutes, which is pretty close. These, I'm not going to view everything, so I'm just going to or my GitHub so you can, if you have a time, you can look at it. But I want to skip to the text to speech. Do you want to know how a computer can pronounce words or unique names like mine? Well, there's a package, a Python package called GTTS, which is stand for Google Text to Speech. First, we install, then we import the libraries. audio playback and OS for file handling. Now we're going to write a function that takes a word convert into speech. So this the word my word first this is how it's spelled. Um, T-H-O-N-G-S-A-V-E-U-I, Tongsve, but it doesn't really pronounce that way, the way it spells, and this is with the Y, is Tongsve, and my short name is Vey. Then, then I'm going to ask pronounce the word and display the audio. First, we'll play the, um, the tongue with the E-U-I. Tongue So, okay, my name is spelled wrong, but I pronounce it correctly, it's tongue But in all my ideas, tongue it ends with E-U-I, which is wrong, and that's just the way it is. Then the correct pronunciation is with the Y, but it's not the way it's supposed to spell. Tong sabe. So it pronounced Tong sabe. So that is my correct pronunciation, but in all my ID is spelled with E U I. And my short name, because a lot of people have a hard time pronouncing my name. So I go with they, and I'll go they. So it's perfect. So the computer is very, very smart in pronouncing names. Compared to a human barista, they never get my name right. Even if it's they, V-E-Y, instead of they, they call me V. 